Let's talk uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, shall we? Some former Jags back in town, it seems, after their careers here ended. But they're living here for good, even after spending time in their careers in other big towns. And they're lending their experience and their unique experiences to make sure players make the right decisions with where they live and ultimately with their money. Because, no, not every player will be making millions and millions of dollars and be set and hang it up when they're done with football. In fact, most will not and they're going to need to have jobs afterwards and have some money saved up. These guys are hoping to help rookies and other maybe undrafted free agents just coming to town so they can focus on football and not losing all their cash money. It is the ultimate rebuild. Remodel. 1916 uh, Triplex in uh, Evandale. And rebuilding is something Jason Babin and Kyle Bosworth can relate to as Jaguars together in the not so great 2012 season. We obviously met in the locker room at the uh, at the Jags. Uh, we see we hit it off instantaneously. But they're doing a rebuild in life after football as well. Put life back into a house that's built in 1916. The two are now flipping homes together. Do everything. Wire homes, pour concrete. I mean, They've started their own business here in Jacksonville called Red Zone Realty. Their primary focus, helping Jaguars who are new to town get acclimated quick with a place to live. We help facilitate any and all needs, you know, for the players. And, and I think the biggest thing about what we do is we put the player first. And many would think football players have it all very easy. Celebrities with tons of money shouldn't have a problem finding a place to live. But with the average salary of a rookie at $365,000 per year and the average NFL lifespan of three seasons, these players are not set for life. Then consider what Babin went gonna, through. Uh, let's see here. I was drafted to the Houston Texans. From there, I was traded to the Seattle Seahawks. And then I went to Philadelphia, Tennessee, back to Philadelphia, Jaguars, Jets, and Cardinals. I think. You're missing one. Oh, I'm missing uh, the, the Ravens. You're missing another one. Ravens? Kansas City. Oh, Kansas City. I was like, ah, it's four weeks. We don't, we don't count that. He had to move his family around the country 10 times. And he says it's things like that new players may not anticipate. Things like that, which can drain a bank account very quickly. I mean, the NFL is not like other sports. It's not guaranteed money. So you could get, you could walk into that building one day and say, get your playbook, go upstairs. You know, and no one wants to hear that, but then guess what? They got moved. All right, so we just uh, saw a property that's in the beginning phases of construction, and now we're going into one of the properties that we manage for one of the players. So among other things, they manage homes for players who so may need a place to live quickly. Or they have help for players who may get cut suddenly and be stuck in a lease. Someone gets cut, we understand it, we make it work because somebody else is going to come in, needs a place to stay, needs to be furnished. That's what we do. We've been there. We've been in their shoes, and we're going to put them first. Okay. There we go. All right. Thank you so much to Jason and Kyle, who are in-house, by the way. And they'll be doing a Facebook Live. We're going to do a Good Morning Jacksonville extra hour uh, on Facebook Live. I hope you'll join us then. Uh, the goal for them is to have a Red Zone Realty franchise in every NFL city to help players uh, who may go through those unfortunate situations of getting cut perhaps a little too quickly. And they do a lot of services as well, moving, et cetera, helping them out. All right.